was Christopher Nolan's sci-fi epic Interstellar. And I sat down with Matthew McConaughey and Mackenzie Foy, who play the father-daughter team at the emotional heart of this film. What's going on, Merv? Why did you and Mom name me after something that's bad? Well, we didn't. Murphy's Law. Now, Murphy's Law doesn't mean that something bad will happen. What it means is that whatever can happen will happen, and that sounded just fine with us. And that's when it all begins. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to ask you, Mackenzie, I, I'm sure you've heard by now that your role was originally written for a boy and that Christopher Nolan decided to change it and turn it into a daughter for Cooper. Do you think that it would have been a completely different movie had it been a boy instead of a girl? I think it might have had a different effect just because it's about like a father and a daughter and I think like a lot of dads and daughters have that special relationship. Mm. Like I have a good relationship with my dad. So you use that, you channeled your relationship with your father <laughs> when you were working with Matthew? Yeah, Mr. Matthew reminds me a lot of my dad. So, yeah. Mr. Matthew, I like the way that sounds. Have you ever seen a script like this before? I've never seen no. a movie like this before. No, I haven't. Um, I never, I never actually read the script, but I've never seen a movie quite like this. It was really cool, and filming it with all the dust storms and those scenes, it was really cool because it felt like you were actually in there. Mackenzie, I know that um, one of your first feature film roles was Twilight. Being a part of a blockbuster film like that, did that prepare you for doing something like this? Well, doing Twilight, because it was my first movie, it has pretty much prepared me for everything else that I've done. So, it, tw Twilight's very special to me, and I learned a lot. It's, it's a great first movie to put on the resume, <laughs> I would say. It did fairly well. <laughs> and, <laughs> way to go, Mackenzie. I'm sure you've shared some advice with Mackenzie, but as a young actor, you never, you can never really like, for really just went, oh hey, here's some advice. But no. just by watching you, just watching you act and right. like, do your thing and just be yourself, I learned how to be more loose, not to be so stiff and stand on my mark and wait for my line. Right. Uh, I want to ask you a question: Would either one of you take a trip into outer space? Yeah, it'd be awesome. It would be awesome. Go up there and see like the universe and the solar system. I think it would be really. Cool. You wouldn't be scared. I think there'd be like that little bit of fear not knowing what will happen, but I mean, you don't really know what will happen even on Earth, so it's kind of, you always have that 50-50 chance. Good answer. Wow. Yeah. I'm not saying anything after that. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the mouth of a 14-year-old, and speaking of that, this is airing on Happy. Monday, which happens to be... My birthday. So, speaking of your birthday, we wanted to say happy birthday. So we actually brought some, look at this, cupcakes. Okay. Do you like cupcakes? Who doesn't like cupcakes? Okay, good. I'm glad you're going to say yes to that. Confetti cupcakes, okay. too. Perfect Which for Mackenzie. Want? Thank you for joining us. Cheers. 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 Aww. Happy birthday, Mackenzie. And yes, we have cupcakes, yes, too. We, we always have cupcakes on GMA. <laughs> Interstellar is in theaters now. Coming up, we're going to get into the holiday spirit. It's Robin's Cupcake. As we kick off our annual Warm Coats and Warm Hearts Drive. Stay with us.